forecast that it wasn't going to snow this morning, so I don't know. Maybe the storm's just lasting a little bit longer. But yeah, they said today it wasn't going to snow, and so I think they're a little off with that. But we'll grab this wood, go back, and make some breakfast because I'm starving and it's cold out. I absolutely love that quad with the tracks on it now with the little enclosure. It just looks so freaking cool. And yeah, I don't know if you can see the trees back up in there, but they're all covered. Nice blanket of white snow. And then Jerry and Kevin, man, they got a ton of snow on the roof. I have to knock that off. Let's go back. All right, we got ourselves a nice deal of wood here. And uh, we'll have plenty to cook and get through the morning, which would be nice. What's up, let's go, let's go this way. Let's go back and do some treats. Yeah. It was pretty windy last night, though. It was, the tent was kind of loud. Those tent doors are not made of canvas like the rest of the tent, so they have a tendency to make some racket and high winds. So unfortunately, I didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night. So today's gonna be a chill day at camp. And uh, definitely with this weather, it just makes it where you wanna stay inside. So check this out, all the ice is starting to form again. So as you can see, it comes down here and like once it melts, it comes down here and it forms. So we're gonna have to knock that off again after the storm passes because it's all the way down the tent line on both sides. So let's go inside and get our breakfast going. For those who are curious, you can just take a little scraper like this and go along, especially after it's warmed up a little bit, and just scrape all this food off, and then you can start cooking again. Because that's just um, <coughs> mozzarella cheese that stuck to the pan and you just kind of got crusty. But that's the easiest way to go ahead and clean your cast iron. If it's not super gunked up, then you can do that, and it's super simple. So, just heads up.
Guardi, non vi ci sono, ok? Hey, what's up, guys? Let's see if we can see him on the roof there. All right, I'm zoomed in on you. I can see you. <laughs> uh, trying to get the solar panels cleared off. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to go clear that one off. Make sure it's wired up right too, because I'm not getting anything right now. And you'd think I'd get just a tad bit coming through. It doesn't look like it's that much covered up with the solar. But we're going to head out there right now and knock, out, knock the rest of that snow off, see if that helps. We got their big boy generator on because we haven't had sun for like six days out here. And so I'm gonna come over here and see if I can knock this out. Look at the huge cavity that I've dug out for this thing. Just so that the sun can hit it from the side here. Look at that. <laughs> so, we don't have too much sun though. It only tracks a little bit across here and then it goes down there and hides behind the, the mountain about 4 p.m. So solar's definitely at a premium around here. Doing, girl, get this whole area cleared for you. Want to go on a little walk? What you thinking, huh? Oh, we gotta get this ice cleared. Whew. All right, we got quite a bit of a storm coming. The winds are gonna be up to 75 miles an hour, and my <clears throat> my snow walls that I made over here have kind of come down in size a little bit, just with all the sun that we've had recently. And so my goal today is to build these back up. The winds are starting to hit pretty good, but it's not gonna be, I mean, it's not gonna be anything like it's gonna be on Wednesday. Wednesday is gonna be the really crazy day. So I wanna get these up to where when the wind hits it, cause it's gonna be coming from this direction. When the wind hits these walls, it skips over hitting the lower portion of the tent here. And it just goes up this, it kind of skirts off the top. So that's what we're gonna work on today. Some fire with me. Let's go, sneakers. So, saying Wednesday winds up to 75 miles an hour, and the possibility I think of up to 11 inches of snow just during the daytime. <clears throat> the day prior looks three to five inches, and the evening prior to that is one to three. And the rest of the snow totals haven't been released yet. So We'll see what those shape up to be here once they include those in the forecast. I am really thankful to have this stash of wood over here. I told Jerry and Kevin that I really owe them a ton of split wood, so they're gonna get some tomorrow and drag it over here and I'm gonna chop it up again. Cause I've been motoring through this firewood back in here. It's not gonna be that cold tonight. It's only gonna get down to like 20, I think. And the wind's only gonna be 15 miles an hour, so the wind chill will still be in the positives. <clears throat> nice thing about that tent is, you know, with the winds, even with them being high like that, I just didn't feel them last night. I didn't feel like any seepage coming through the the um, the fabric for the tent walls. So that's really nice. Keeps my tent nice and warm. You know, I always recommend prior to any snowstorm hitting camp, always go through and clean out your stove, uh, both the firebox and the stovepipe, because it's going to make your stove run much more efficiently and distribute heat better when the storm hits.
All set, sweetie. What you doing this morning, buddy? Come here. What you got, pal? <laughs> Blue, you're crazy. Come over here, bud. What you doing, pal? Come here. What are you thinking, huh? Just thinking there, pal. What's up, dude? What you doing, buddy? Well, come here. Oh, look at Blue being on the leash. Good boy. Hi, look out. Uh-oh. 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 Right. Uh what's up, bud? What's up, man? All right, man. You guys take it easy. Drive safe. All right, so they're out of there here for the day, and I have the town to myself, pretty much. I think there's two other people here right now. Or maybe, no, there's four. Yeah, there's four other people here at the moment, but I think... I think two of them are taking off today and heading back to their their towns or their wherever their primary residence is at. What's up, Sierra Pumpkin? What you doing over there? So Sierra's gonna root around over there. I'm doing a software update on the computer. I'm bummed because I accidentally deleted a bunch of files that I was gonna use for the next video. And uh, looks like that won't be happening. So, um, and with me losing the memory card that I had that was in the GoPro and then also in the drone, you know, it snapped in two. Um, can't recover those files, so kind of a little bit of a gap here in the story, but we're all good.